Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and romance movie from 1999 called Blast from the Past. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie begins in 1962. Tensions were high between the United States and the Soviet Union with fears that a nuclear bomb might drop at any moment. Dr. Calvin Weber, a scientist in America, prepares by building a well-equipped fallout bunker in his backyard. One evening, while hosting a party with his colleagues, a live broadcast by President Kennedy reveals a secret mission against the Soviets, convincing Calvin that a nuclear war is imminent. He quickly ushers his guests out and takes his pregnant wife, Helen, to the safety of the bunker. That same night, a plane crashes into Calvin's house due to mechanical failure, leading everyone to believe the Webbers died. Inside the bunker, Calvin, assuming the crash was a nuclear attack, seals the bunker for 35 years. Life in the bunker begins, and Calvin and Helen adapt to their new reality. Helen, however, struggles with worry about her loved ones outside. Soon after, Helen gives birth to a boy named Adam. The bunker, stocked for 35 years with essentials including food and a fish tank, becomes their world. Calvin educates Adam about America's history, hoping he will one day restore the nation. The film moves to 1965 when workers replace Calvin's destroyed home with a diner, which later becomes a pizzeria and then a nightclub. By 1975, Adam, now a kind boy fond of his parents, learns boxing and dancing from them. Calvin teaches Adam various subjects in the bunker, including the stock market and languages, and shares his baseball card collection. In 1995, Adam celebrated his 33rd birthday, longing for a life partner. By 1997, the bunker's time is up and the door unlocks. Calvin, cautious, decides they should first explore at night. Above ground, the diner is now a haven for beggars who mistake Calvin's appearance in a radiation suit for an earthquake, causing one to faint. Calvin steps into his old neighborhood, now unrecognizably changed, where locals jokingly point guns at him and he accidentally walks into an adult video store. Calvin realizes his neighborhood has deteriorated and returns to the bunker, feeling uneasy. At dinner, he tells his family that although the air above is breathable, the world has turned into a wasteland filled with mutants and they need to stay underground. Helen, tired of bunker life, argues vehemently. She wants Adam to experience the world outside, to see the skies, touch the oceans, and explore the mountains. Despite her passionate plea, Calvin insists they remain hidden, but during the argument, he collapses with a heart attack. As Calvin's health worsens and their supplies diminish, Helen sends Adam outside with a grocery list and a personal mission to find a girlfriend who is not a mutant. Before leaving, Calvin warns Adam against entering the adult video store under the guise of radiation danger, though he really wants to shield him from its inappropriate content. Adam exits the bunker, encountering Melker, the beggar who saw his father the previous night. Melker begins to worship the elevator and the family as divine beings. Outside for the first time, Adam is amazed by the world, excitedly greeting a woman of color and avoiding the adult video store by advising others of its supposed radiation. Taking a bus, Adam's outdated language confuses the passengers and the driver, making him appear odd. At a grocery store while shopping, he learns from the butcher that large orders can be delivered home. This reminder of home triggers Adam's realization that he doesn't remember the way back to the bunker. Panicking, Adam tries to locate the bunker without success. Running low on money, he attempts to sell his father's valuable baseball cards for a low price at a hobby shop. The shop owner tries to take advantage of him, but the assistant, Eve, intervenes, informing Adam of the card's true value and quitting her job in protest. Adam is instantly attracted to her. Adam convinces Eve to drive him to the Holiday Inn restaurant following his mother's instructions. Initially reluctant, Eve agrees when Adam offers her two cards. However, after they arrive, she leaves without further discussion. The next day, Eve calls Adam to meet her in the hotel lounge where she returns one of the cards out of guilt. Adam then proposes she help him shop for supplies for $1,000 a week. Eve accepts and they buy enough supplies for two years. Adam also asks for her help in finding a wife, specifying she should not be a mutant. In the next scene, Adam is introduced to Eve's gay housemate and best friend, Troy, who is naturally curious. Troy inquires about Adam's background and Adam fibs, claiming he's from Alaska on a business trip. Eve and Troy then give Adam a style makeover and even take him skateboarding. Later, Adam experiences the ocean for the first time, diving in with excitement and reveling in the water. He attends a baseball game, shouting with joy as he finally understands what his father had described. 
On another day, as it starts to rain, Adam feels raindrops for the first time and is captivated by the sensation, refusing Eve's urging to go inside and instead embracing her in a hug to show his happiness in the real world. That evening, Eve and Troy bring Adam to a 1940s swing-style nightclub to help him find a wife, advising him to just be himself. Adam quickly catches the eye of several women, including Eve's rival, Sophie. As Adam and Sophie hit it off, Eve becomes uneasy and pulls him away, suggesting he should pursue a sweet girl instead. Adam soon strikes up a conversation with another girl and they hit it off when he invites her to dance. His exceptional dancing, honed from years of practice in the bunker, impresses everyone. Meanwhile, Eve rekindles a conversation with an ex-boyfriend who provokes Adam into an argument. Adam's boxing skills, refined through daily practice with his father in the bunker, quickly end the confrontation. The disturbance causes Eve to become frustrated and she decides to leave Adam at the club and go home. Later, Troy returns home and tells Eve that Adam has left with Sophie. Upset by this news, Eve rushes out, gets into her car, and drives off to find Adam. Just as Eve is about to drive away, Adam surprises her by knocking on her car door, giving her quite a shock. They go back to the house together, where Adam tells her that he turned down Sophie because he couldn't stop thinking about Eve. He confesses his love for her and they share a kiss. Feeling closer now, Adam decides to open up about his background. He explains that he spent 35 years living in a fallout bunker with his family, and this is his first time in the outside world. Adam expresses his wish to marry Eve and bring her to the bunker to start a life together. However, Eve thinks he's lost his mind and asks him to leave. The next day, when Adam is learning to drive a truck with Troy, he recognizes the adult video store he saw earlier and figures out where his bunker is. Excited, he rushes back to Eve's house to share his discovery, but when he arrives, he finds two psychiatrists waiting for him. Adam cooperates at first but soon escapes, leaving behind the key to his hotel room for Eve and Troy. Adam instructs Eve and Troy to pay his hotel bill with his baseball cards before he drives away in a truck. Later, Eve and Troy visit Adam's hotel room where they find vintage items from the 1960s, including toothpaste and clothing. They also discover valuable stock certificates belonging to Adam's father, now worth millions, which convinces them that Adam has been truthful all along. Meanwhile, Adam returns to his parents' bunker after two weeks in the outside world. He shares with them how wonderful the world outside is as he embraces them. With the help of Melker and his friends, Adam restocks the bunker. Unable to find Adam's bunker, Eve and Troy return home. That night, Eve spots Adam outside the adult video store and calls out to him. They reunite with an embrace and a kiss, and Adam introduces her to his parents, Calvin and Helen, who are pleased to meet her. Adam asks his father to give him two months to make arrangements before they move to the surface. During this period, Adam and Eve sell the stocks and build a new home in the countryside, modeled after his previous house. They plan a gradual transition for Calvin and Helen to surface life. A few months later, Adam's parents are amazed by the new home he has prepared for them. While Helen and Eve make dinner, Adam tells his father that there was no atomic war and the bomb was actually a plane crashing into their house. He also informs him that the Soviet Union collapsed without warfare. However, Calvin remains skeptical and jokingly dismisses his son's explanations. The movie concludes with Calvin planning to construct another fallout bunker while Eve watches him from the kitchen window playing with her engagement ring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.